this room is a master bedroom of the house. The wall behind me, it used to be a closet, but it didn't have any door. It didn't have enough space and wasn't organized enough for a client. My idea was like opening this closet completely and have it from floor to ceiling. And I'm going to organize this closet right after. The flooring has been changed. The floor was not level at all. So we made it level and that the flooring, the new flooring going on top. And then I'll show you how we are organizing this closet. The closet has been installed. I continued with the shaker style doors and I want it to be seamless all the way up. Now she has tons of storage here. The way usually we design closets is we consider if you want, if you have long dresses and then like shirts and drawers for other stuff, we put everything in consideration and then we uh, design a closet that way. Today is a day that we're going to pick some furniture for the master bedroom that we're designing. It's pretty exciting. Going to browse for headboard and uh, nightstands. Do you guys sell headboards? Very good. Mm -hmm. So I think we decided we're gonna go with this nightstand and then we're gonna get this one to be right at the corner of the room. We have stock for the buffet, so I know that. The nightstands, uh, I just looked them up. We have new ones coming in, but it's not gonna be until December. I think we found the winner. We'll have this where the wall notches, and I think it looks beautiful. It has a tons of storage. If you want it, come here. You definitely want to see Sheldon at Sandy's Furniture. He's been amazing. He helped us so much. The company that we're going for is TH Solid Wood, and everything that they made is solid from Solid Maple. Their typical craftsmanship uh, has the soft close drawers, as you see right there. And it's a Canadian company. That's that's the nice thing about it. Locally made here in BC. Thank yeah. you. So and much. you guys are wonderful to work with too. Let's do this. We're going to buy the headboard. It's final. We are ready to purchase that beautiful headboard. All right. We are finally finished the master bedroom. Everything has come together and I'm here to take you through the final result. Something we had to tackle before anything else in this room was the floor. It was not level. There were almost two inches from the highest point to the lowest point of the room. After the floor was leveled, we switched the original carpet to the laminate. The color that I chose for the laminate, it's neutral, uh, but it has a touch of gray. It's a little bit on a warmer side as well. It is scratch resistant and also fit the budget of the client. The house is near water and I wanted to bring that fresh and beachy vibe into the room. So we painted the walls in this room a bluey gray called Vikim Gray uh, from Benjamin Moore, HC-171. And I think it really brightened up the space and it has a very soft blue hue. My client's biggest concern in this room was the lack of storage and the closet. I designed a wall-to-wall, -wall, floor to ceiling closet that is very deep. It has organizer inside to ensure she has proper space for all her clothes. We also switched out the lighting in this room. There was an old ceiling light in here already and I wanted to switch it out. The ceiling was too low, so I chose this light. It's attached to the ceiling and it just brings just a little bit of bling into the room. 
All of the furniture in this room have sandy colors. I love the details of the furniture in this room. The handles on the dresser and nightstand and the texture of the headboard. They all remind me of the beach sand. It's such a great idea to reuse your old decor. And my client had this old mirror and we just repainted the frame with metallic paint to go with the new style of the room. I wanted to add a piece of art on top of the headboard to bring the eye up in this space. And I think this long, narrow piece of art does exactly that. I'm so happy with how this room came together and I hope you are too. More video of this house renovation coming soon. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss it. Make sure you like this video as well. See you next time.